And to wrap up our sports stories for tonight, we take a look at how the conversations about racism in sport continue in South Africa. The Ahmed Katrada Foundation hosted a webinar with former cricketers and administrators tonight, this to further ventilate the issues cricket is currently mired in. Faik Davids, in a previous webinar, accused former Test batsman Barry Richards of refusing to share a commentary booth with him during a match at Newlands in 2002. However, Richards denies that this ever happened. Here is Davids on his experiences. 1991, during the discussions of the um, unity talks, there was this team of which Faik was part of, and I'm very happy that Vinny also locked um, um, on, the team, I just want to read some of the names quickly. The SEC B team, that time, Said Majid, captain. Vincent Barnes, Andre Peters, Harun Logat, Kaya Majola, Faik Davids, Imran Monsi, Nazim White, who made his comeback when he was at the age of 50, Abdul Manak, Yasin Bek, Ismail Bahadin, and then the 12th man, Hussein Manak. So we did a little bit of digging into the where are they now what happened subsequently we have Faik with us tonight who's one of the first uh, players from Sagbi who played in that international team and that is the perfect uh, uh, foundation which you've given us as well that we can go over to Faik and ask for his input within your in input also can you maybe just touch on some of these players what happened where are they now well, Faik um Bennett, thank you very much for having me and uh, thank you listeners uh, uh, for having me on this platform for me to be able to share my story with you guys. Uh, I'm very honored that uh, I've been chosen tonight to, to share my story. And um, just on the back of what Ashwell is saying, I mean, you can hear how passionate he is, you know, regarding his, his, his career and obviously regarding his job. And, and, and for me, obviously, working with Ashwell on a daily basis, and, and to know exactly that this man's heart is, at, you know, is in the right place to take this country forward in terms of sport. So, um, Bennett, if I, if I can just come in in terms of, or share in terms of what happened in 1991. Um, I think it was two weeks before unification or something like that was, was, was announced. Um, and two weeks after that, I was um, contacted by Ali Baha. And uh, he said that, look, I'm included in this um, historical um, tour to India um, where Clive Rice was the captain. But I didn't represent. I went with as an additional player. So there were four additional players to that squad. And it was an all-white team that went to, that went to Faik, India. Faik, Faik can, can you just so quickly, can you emphasize that last part? Were you part of the squad or just an addition? Yeah, it, 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 I wasn't part of the squad, the playing squad. They added four additional players. Myself, Hussein Manak, Derek Crooks, and Hansi Kronier. Those were the four additional players that they earmarked that was going to be the future of South African cricket. And obviously, as history um, 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 is being told, that um, Hansi and Derek Crooks moved on. Myself and Hussein Manak were left behind. So, so we went to India on this three, interna three um, international tour to India. And I think we lost it 2-1 um, in India. And of course, we went with, with open eyes and we were excited and whatever the case may be. But what we felt as, as cricketers, because I mean, I went with as a, represent, a, represent, a rep representation of the the black South Africa. And the names that you've mentioned now, with the Sa'id Majid, the Vincent Barnes, the Jack Manas, I mean, that whole team, um, all quality cricketers. Um, I was fortunate to select, be selected to, 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 to join this, this, uh, this tour. And uh, of course, we, we were excited because we were gonna go on this tour to India, but it was sad not to be participating on the field of play. We, we trained with the guys. We, we, we were part of team meetings and everything. But the only thing we weren't allowed to do was step on the, onto the field and represent your country. So that was in 1991. And then 
1992, same thing happened. A World Cup team was selected. So there was a squad of 14 players that were selected. I know my Henry was also part of that playing squad. And then myself and Yasin Beg was also added to the squad, not as a playing member, but as an additional member for whatever reason. Right? Once again, it was the first World Cup after unification. I still, from today onwards, I still don't understand in terms of what happened in the negotiations of transformation or of unity, in fact, unity, that we never had representation on the field of play. So all these years has gone by, and, and same like Ashwell, I mean, there were always going to be a time that we were going to share our story. But I think never ever were we granted an opportunity to share the stories, what was happening behind closed doors. I mean, we all know that cricket is a very tough sport already, as it is, with the, uh, the skills and the, and the tactical side of things. And still to be able to have the pressure of coaches not believing in the skill that you have to be able to go onto the field and represent. So, so those were all the tough situations, you know. And, and there was another um, instance uh, in 2002 where I was finished with my professional playing career and I was asked to do some commentating um, for, for, I think it was for Sky, and I was on a fantastic panel of commentators. And it was Michael Holding was on there, Ravi Shastri, Alan Border, and it was the test that um, South Africa played against Australia in 2002 at Newlands. And um, it was my first time commentating. I opened the test by doing the pitch report and all of that. And then went into the commentating box and I saw the roster of the commentators that you will also be commentating with during the five days. And just to cut the long story short, um, Barry Richards was also part of that panel. And he was the only person that refused, point blank refused, to commentate with me on, on air. So he took himself off. So whenever I was supposed to come on and, and the two of us were supposed to commentate, I mean, Ashwell will tell how it works. They've got a roster of all the commentators commentating with each other. And uh, he just took himself off. And I don't know. I mean, I can't say what, what, what that man felt in his heart that he didn't want to commentate with me. So for me, it is just obviously sharing a story and, and, and we can debate afterwards in terms of the structure, in terms of how we went about unification and what was the right and what was the wrong that, that, that took place. Faik David's there just sharing his experiences with racism and South African cricket.